welcome back to Breakfast with Bob. My name is Bob Babbitt. We are at the Two Times U New York City Triathlon, part of the Lifetime Fitness National Series. Maddie Serpico joins us. Hi. Maddie, how are you? I'm awesome. How are you? Bring this a little closer. So nice to meet you. Okay, Maddie Fast Pants. Where did that come from? Um, that came from my parents when I was younger, and okay. I started racing, and it was always Maddie Pants, and then I started to get faster and faster, and I Maddie guess it fast just pants. became Maddie Fast Pants, yeah. I like that. Yeah. So, when did you find the sport of triathlon? Um, when I was 12, I started... 12, uh, up in Canada? Yes. Yeah, that's where I'm from, Calgary, Alberta. Okay. And um, just, you know, race the local Kids of Steel race with the mountain bike. And yes. Yeah. I think that's where Simon Whitfield started, yeah. Kids of Steel. Yeah, yeah. And when did you feel like, you know what, I could be pretty good at this? Um, probably about six, seven years ago. And okay. then you know, went pro f four to five years ago. And as a pro, uh, at that yeah. point, were you thinking Canadian Olympic team, ITU, that I type was, of format? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, l I wasn't a strong swimmer, so I knew I had to you know, work extra hard at that. Right. Um, and um, I grew up as a runner. And I thought IT would be fun, and I, you know, I did that for a couple years, and but never quite made that, you know, front pack. I did a couple times, but then was, you know, completely exhausted by the the bike and pulled them on the bike, and then had nothing left for the run. And um, I always knew that I'd be better at the the long distance stuff. So, and that was always my dream, and you know, kind of my 10 to 15 year yeah. goal um, was to do Ironman World Championship someday. So I'm slowly working, working up to that, that way. Mm -hmm. So. 70.3 you just did Honu? Yes. Uh, no, uh, yeah. what'd you, now what did you think? Was that your first one? It was, yeah. It was amazing. I, I loved it and I learned so much and um, I'm learning, you know, nutrition plays a, a big key part of it. Big time. Yeah. Um, and the conditions and the heat and the wind and the other competitors and but I loved it. So. And your first pro 70.3 will be Boulder? Yes. Yeah. August 5th. And you're training with one of the greatest people on the planet, Siri Lindley. Yeah. What has she brought to the table for you? Um, just with her, it's about um, just learning every day and, you know, reaching new levels and um, patience. And I, I'm, I'm not a patient person. I, I want stuff to happen, you know, right away. And um, that's just not the way <laughs> no. Doesn't things work. work. That way. No. Um, no, so just, yeah. What did you learn from that Honu race after doing ITU style racing? What, what was what, um, what was it about that race, or what did you learn, take away from that race that will help you in Boulder? Um, just, it was completely different just with the whole non-drafting, yeah. but um, I just liked it so much better. You kind of, you know, get into that zone, and um, you still have to, you know, push really hard through the whole race, but yes. it, it's more about you yourself, and... Um, yeah, I've been training like that consistently for about five months now in Boulder, so I'm excited to see how it all it. pan out, and I've been training on the course, so that's perfect. Oh, that's true, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, age 12, you were at the Ironman Canada finish line with your mom? I was, yeah. That now, was, was she uh, racing? Or she was. She was. So, your mom was into this stuff long before you were? Yes, she was. She's the, the one that got me into it, for sure. What was it about that finish line? That you, did you run in with your mom? I did, yeah. At that time, you could you know, yeah. bring your entire family with you and, and go run across the finish line, and it was just so inspiring. And um, I was like, yeah, I could definitely do one of those one day. And you know, when I'm, I was like, oh, when I'm 18, I want to do my first Ironman, right? So, How old are you now? Yeah. 24. So you're young for this. Yeah. Most people are getting into Ironman distances at that age. Yeah. Uh, are you... It, are, this year, I'm assuming you're not doing a full. Um, are you thinking about uh, it? I don't know. Um, we're kind of, me and Siri are kind of playing around with possibly like a later season Ironman before the end of the year. Or right. Just to Just to sort of test it. the waters yeah, a little yeah. bit. Because we train, you know, that hard every day. So Right. Yeah. So you like hard. You were eighth overall at Wildflower last year. Was yep. it last? Yeah. 2024. Yeah. First in, in that. And... Um, First female Malibu, yeah. so I'll be doing that race again. You're this doing year. Malibu again, yes, okay? Yeah. And races like Wildflower, it's a tough race. So obviously, tough is something that uh, you do well in. Yes, I do. Yeah, the the tougher the course, the conditions don't matter. I love the heat. I can race in the cold. Coming from Canada, Canada. See, Canadians I'm, are tough. I'm you fine. can do anything. Yeah, with the water temperature, and yeah. I'm good. Have so. you done this race before? No, I haven't. I've always heard, and um, I have a lot of friends and. Um, 
other pros that have yes. done it and they just rave about it and Siri loves it. It's so fun. yeah, I'm really, really excited. And the equalizer thing is pretty cool. So you can win six for winning the race, but if you win overall yeah. with about, I think he said it might be a 12 minute or so gap, mm -hmm. you get another $3,000. That's pretty sweet. That have you done good. a race like that before with that? Where the, where the uh, women the are out there and the men are trying to catch you? Um, no, I've done a running race like that, but no, never a try. So yeah, it'll be a neat Winning thing. a race. When I look at the field, I, I mean, Lauren Goss is here. Uh, there's a good field, yep. but there, it's a wide open field. It is. Right? Yep. I think it's something that there's a lot of people who can win here. Do you feel Absolutely. you have that type of talent to, to win this race? Is that a, is that a goal? Absolutely. A podium for sure. Um, yes. It's... As I said right now, I'm focusing on the, the longer stuff, but I've always wanted to do this race, and um, I have that you know non-drafting speed, and my swim's definitely up there now, better than it's ever been. So, and I'm I have some of the best training partners, Ellie Salthouse, and some great um, oh my God, yeah. ITU athletes um, from Mexico that are training right. with Siri right now, and uh, yeah. Love that. So it would be great. Maddie, so nice. And also, you're a vegan. I am. Yeah, I've and been vegan for seven years. And is that, did you notice a big difference in terms of your performance, in terms of how you feel by going vegan? Absolutely. Um, just for recovery and less inflammation. Yes. Um, my boyfriend is also a vegan. He's an NFL player. Um, so we, every morning, you know, have smoothies after, right after right. workouts. Um, yeah, making each other food, just, you know, lots of protein. Um, you don't yeah. see a lot of NFL players as vegans. No, he's the only one. Is that right? Yes. And he's, yeah. he's able to get, because people always say, oh, you can never can get everything protein. you need. Yeah, but the world yeah. has changed so much, right? Absolutely. There's so many great options out there. There is. And there's so many amazing restaurants here that we both have eaten at. Oh, my and, God. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. And Boulder, it's so easy. You know, oh, yeah. it's... It's easy to eat, you know, a plant-based meal, so. I love it. Yeah, we do a great job. Maddie, a pleasure to get to meet you. Yeah, you as well. Thanks so much for taking time. Give Thank my you. best to my favorite person on the planet, Siri Lindley. I will, I will. Thank you so much. All right. Maddie Serkbuko has been our guest. Hold on, everybody. We will be right back.